Hey guys, uh, welcome back again to the channel. So today I wanted to make a short video for you guys uh, to share with you the mining performance uh, in Ethereum or app hash algorithm with the RTX 3070 uh, because I was uh, able to get my hands on one of these uh, because we already know how hard and difficult and very expensive it's to get your hands on one of these GPUs especially these days uh, because obviously the mining craze and yeah, I know, I am a part of this mining craze also, but uh, actually I got this GPU uh, for my other channel because I have another channel where I game, uh, I have a gaming channel, so basically I need a, a better GPU to uh, record, stream, encode, and do all that good stuff uh, while keeping uh, a decent FPS while I do that, so that's why I had to get uh, this GPU. And it wasn't easy, actually I had to buy a full PC to be able to grab the GPU so I have to save my uh, my PC and keep the GPU but uh, yeah that's not part of this video anyway today I'm going to show you just the stock settings and the maximum settings that I can get out of my GPU and we'll see the performance but obviously you need also to keep in mind that, that um, the, uh, the actual performance of the GPU today that you are going to see on the screen is going to be lower when, uh, the, uh, than what the GPU is capable of because obviously I am recording the screen and uh, that takes uh, the power away from the GPU. So with that said I'm going to use the EVGA Precision as a tuning uh, software or overclocking, underclocking, whatever you may call it but uh, I also use MSI Afterburner, they all work the same but just it just happened that um, I'm using EVGA Precision right now but it should be the same. You can use whichever tuning program or application that you like, it doesn't matter, the results should be uh, almost uh, the same so uh, as for uh, mining application I'm going to use MB miner because basically for the simple reason this miner for me is the most stable miner uh, uh, while using Binance pool because I use uh, Binance pool as, as my pool because from there I can take my mind Ethereum directly to my um, Binance Ethereum wallet so I don't have to uh, to transfer or to withdraw deposit the uh, Ethereum uh, from one side to another but I can keep all within Binance without the need of uh, paying transfer fees and so on and yeah that's uh, the main reason why I'm using MB Miner and I say this because uh, every miner should uh, basically be the same as far as performance go I use T-Rex, I use Kudo Miner, I use NiceHash and they all give me roughly uh, the same performance so it should be the same uh, for you also so now the the application has started to mine as you see 43 mega hashes a second power is 180 we have temperature fan clock speed uh, memory speed and the most important indicator is the efficient per watt basically how much you are mining for each watt that the GPU is consuming and this is really important because not always getting more hash rate is the more efficient way to mine and obviously, um, obviously that uh, depends on how uh, how much you are mining in hash uh, in hash rate and how much you are consuming, which uh, technically gives us the efficiency per watt. Uh, right now, it's around 245 kilo hashes a uh, uh, kilo hashes a second for each watt that the GPU is consuming or basically 0.245 mega hashes a second for each watt that the, my GPU is consuming right now and basically obviously this is with all the stock settings without changing anything now I have my profile in here for the maximum or the uh, the best um, uh, the best combination of settings for my GPU or we can say as we already mentioned uh, the most efficient uh, way to mine with my GPU I will load my maximum or my best efficient settings that I have for my GPU obviously hit apply and you see that uh, my settings are uh, 1300 uh, megahertz plus on the memory clock uh, I am minus 400 on the core clock because obviously we don't need the core clock for mining Ethereum or any other coin that is based on F hash algorithm. Uh, target power or power limit is at 55%. I can go lower, obviously. I can go higher with the memory, but then I will begin um, 
I will begin getting rejected shares, I will begin uh, getting instabilities, but with these settings that I am right now, the PC is 100% stable, it never crashes, I don't get uh, any rejected shares, if I get any it would be like uh, one or two rejected shares, uh, like uh, in a week maybe or even less, at least till now everything is going fine with uh, this. Uh, settings and as you see we go from 43 mega hashes up to uh, 50 mega hashes a second of speed the power limit goes from around 170 180 it goes to 130 uh, watts uh, consumed by the GPU and as you see the efficiency now it goes from 245 250 it goes to 380 390 but you have to keep in mind that um, if I'm not doing anything with my PC, because obviously now I'm recording, so the performance is not going to be there. With these settings, I get 62 to 63 mega hash a second with 130 power consumption, and the efficiency per watt is almost 500 kilo hashes for each watt consumed by the GPU, and that's almost double the efficiency. Although I get 51, 52 mega hash a second on stock, and I go to 62, 63 with these settings I gain only 10 to 12 mega hashes a second but I gain almost double the efficiency so that's why I said this is a, a very important metric that you need to look at uh, when you are trying to mine because uh, not always uh, having the highest uh, hash rate it means that you are going to have higher efficiency because if I go with these settings and I keep the GPU running at full speed then the wattage will go more than 200 watts and the efficiency is not gonna go up like it would be right now which basically means that for every money that I'm spending on energy uh, basically I'm uh, gaining more for that energy or horsepower spent let's call it this way because it's a little bit simpler uh, to understand so yeah you also have to know that uh, each GPU will perform differently I have seen GPUs like mine go with a memory clock uh, up to 1500 sometimes I've seen some people push them 1600 I don't know if that's true but I've seen photos uh, so basically way higher than I am and they can get like 64 65 mega hashes a second and I mean it's uh, to me it's not uh, it's not that uh, efficient to go and stress the memory that high because only uh, to uh, one or two mega hashes more uh, but mostly because my GPU can't uh, do it because if I go to 1400 then I will begin getting a little bit uh, more often rejected shares uh, maybe the PC might crash sometimes or the GPU in this case so I always choose efficiency and stability over everything else basically those are my two main metrics when it comes uh, to mining but obviously since um, you're getting rejected shares and since you're getting crashes if you are obviously that means that um, maybe you can earn more uh, with uh, those settings because you don't care you will crash you can get it again to work and you will continue until it crashes again then you get it to work but that also means that you are stressing way too much your memory and or your GPU let's call it uh, overall so it's uh, in my uh, in my opinion it's not wise to do that for just a couple of more mega hashes it's better to keep it under spec one last thing that I want to talk about is temperature I have an open bench so my GPU doesn't go above 50 um, 50 C with the automatic fan but obviously if you are in an enclosed uh, case with uh, bad uh, airflow the temperature uh, will be easily above 60 up to 70 C so you need to crank up the uh, the fan speed to keep the temperatures in check what I usually consider to be a good temperature is uh, uh, every temperature under 60 is going to be fine uh, temperature between 60 and 70 is still going to be fine but if you can keep it lower it's uh, even better uh, so they they will not damage your GPU up to 70 then se uh, above 70 especially above 80 that's what I consider to be a little bit on the dangerous side so you need to take actions on that you may open your side uh, 
uh, side panel of the case so it can breathe a little bit easier or you may crank up uh, the, the fan speed but also that depends on how much uh, noise you want uh, in your room because obviously uh, increasing the fan speed is going to produce uh, more noise so you have to find your your tuning you have to find your sweet spot even if you have the same freaking GPU as mine the same model uh, everything uh, that doesn't mean that you will get the same performance 62 to 63 megahertz a second with these settings because every GPU again uh, it depends on the silicon lottery it depends uh, on your luck what you are getting some GPUs might uh, be better than mine so GPUs might be worse than mine yeah. Then let's say that we have many many variables to take uh, into consideration so keep that in mind so yeah that was it if you want me to do an in-depth video of all the settings in here and how I got to these stable settings let me know on the comment section and I will do a longer video when I explain step by step uh, how to tune the memory how to tune the GPU how to tune the power limit and so on how to use the curve if you want to use the curve to save more power because I can show you that also uh, but yeah definitely let me know on the comment section and I will do a longer video where I explain those a little bit more in detail but yeah roughly that is uh, what you can expect from an RDX 3070 at least uh, on April maybe May because uh, things might change difficulty might go up so the hash rate and the rewards might change might change in the future but for now 60 up to 7 uh, to 65 mega just a second is the speed that you can get uh, when you tune your RTX 3070 uh, whatever model uh, it may be okay then, that was it for today guys thank you very much for tuning in don't forget to subscribe if you haven't uh, already also turn on notifications so never miss one of my new videos don't forget to check my affiliate links that you will find uh, on the video description if you want to help me out without actually donating anything if you use those links you're going to help me indirectly let's call it this way and that obviously is going to be very much appreciated okay then, that would be it thank you again and as always i will catch you guys on the next one bye bye